Hello everybody, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor and we're here at the IADC Offshore Regional Forum in Houston and I'm joined right now by a man who spoke at this forum, PJ Janes of Diamond Offshore. He is part of a panel speaking a little bit about talent retention, attraction, one of the big challenges that we see in the industry today. So he's going to give some of his thoughts on that. PJ, thank you so much for joining me today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So, talking about talent, I guess it's one of the things, you know, in this industry, you hear about all the challenges facing the industry right now with sort of ESG and technical challenges and all these types of things, but the one thing that everybody says is talent, getting people to come in here and work in this industry. So, what kind of a challenge do you see as talent, talent retention, talent attraction, being within this industry? How important is it to the long-term health of this industry? Uh, this is the most important thing. Our people are the most important asset that we have. That is our talent. So our talent operates the rigs. They all came out of the shipyards just to steal that come out. The people are what make the rig for us. So that is our number one asset that we have. What are some of the biggest challenges that you find in bringing talent in? Um, we've gone through cycles now in the cyclical industry. So the longevity of bringing people in and asking them that have seen the past of, hey, it, it can go very big and then it can go away. So making sure the new people that we bring in understand that, that we are going to take care of our crews and our employees as we go through and looking at what's going forward. Everybody thinks offshore, offshore drilling is going away. We, we're learning today that's not true. We have several facts that show us that we're going to need the offshore industry going forward. So it's, it's teaching people that to then bring them in and show them the longevity that we have in this industry. What kind of steps are Diamond Offshore taking to bring people in? Where are you finding people to bring in? Our own employees. Nobody knows the offshore drilling life like our own employees. They, they know the benefits. They know the cons. I'm talking about the cyclicality of it. Um, they know what it takes to work 21 or 28 days away from their family. So they can pass that on better than anybody. So when we get an internal reference on our intranet website, they, they move to the top of the list. That's where we want to get our employees from primarily. So once you get the people in here, you got to train them up and you got to keep them. So I'll ask first about training them up. Um, you know, obviously from a short term and a long term sort of view, you guys are trying to make the people you bring in sort of a, a long term kind of contribution to your company. So what are some of the things that you do when you're bringing these in to, to sort of build those competencies? No, it's actually an investment off the bat. So we do want it to be long term. Um, before they even step foot on the rig, there's certain training that needs to be done. Uh, a roustabout, an in, incoming roustabout on the rig is required lifting on, on their first hitch out. They're on the fire team on their first hitch out. So there are key concepts that they need to understand before they even come in, before they even make it offshore. Um, the supervisors offshore take a lot of that burden when they're getting new employees out there. There's an extra level of supervision, extra level of oversight that needs to go into it. Um, and then from a shore base side, we're looking at matching our crews so we don't have too much of the new employee base with on the same crew together. So we will mix our crews up internally to make sure that we have plenty of experience on each crew. And then lastly, keeping them here. <laughs> got to bring them in, got to keep them here. So what do you guys do when it comes to making sure that those guys that you're bringing in are staying here for years and years within your company? Are there any steps that you guys take? Well, I'd love to pay them all, everything in the world. They earn it and they deserve it. Obviously, we're a publicly traded company, so we have shareholders to take care of as well. Um, there are several things that we do. We look at succession planning, um, engaging with the crews on what the future potential of their career looks like, understand what career path they want to take. So just because we bring someone in as a roustabout does not mean they can branch off and go up to the electrician route if that's something that they'd like to do. So having that feedback loop with an employee, understanding what their wants and their needs are, um, and then also going through succession planning with them of talking about where, where they fall in the rank of employees and looking at some of the opportunities that they can have on going into a different path or understanding that they are going to be the next person that's promoted into a position when it opens up. I guess showing those career paths is such a big thing for, for people that are coming in, seeing where they're going to fit in within this industry. So interesting to hear all of this. PJ, thank you so much for telling us some of this stuff, letting us into what Diamond Offshore does, and uh, thanks again. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor.